let's face it, fairly hedonistic uh, uh, journey, eh? Yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been a great adventure. And uh, I, I always say to my wife how, how lucky I am, because if it wasn't for the Happy Mondays, because before then I, I, I was a uh, juvenile delinquent, my life was completely falling to pieces. Right. I've uh, been in and out of juvenile detention centres, bar stalls, and all that. And uh, okay. life was looking very promising for me. I went off travelling, trying to escape when I got out of the bar stall to try, you know, change my whole direction of where I was going. Is this the Morocco but, thing? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what were you doing they, in the cave, Bez? <laughs> yeah, I, I did for a while because, uh, I was starving and I got caught shoplifting off the Moroccans. Like you do. <laughs> and I, I got chased through town with a lot of angry Moroccans with the flip flops <laughs> at the red. <laughs> so I ended up hiding out in a cave up in uh, out, out of town. So me, me money arrives to get myself out of there. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that must have been a, a moment. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a bit of a moment. But the funny thing was, there's some other kid that in the same cave we were met out there, and he was hiding out because uh, he, he he got himself into a right old fix, and he was playing. He thought the Moroccans were playing a game for red for stop, green for go. <laughs> so if you see the red thing, he stopped. Green, green was go, and he came across a donkey tied up uh, uh, with a green rope. Oh. So obviously, green for go, he jumps on this donkey and started trotting off on it. Right. Next thing, he's getting like stoned and everything, and he's ended up in prison for three months uh, for uh, taking and driving away <laughs> a donkey without all Taking his and driving away a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, so he got a dongle for chwok on a donkey. My Lord. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, yeah. So he, he got himself in the right pickle. So, so. Basically, you're having a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a pony old time, you know. You're a bit homeless, you know, and you're bouncing in and out of uh, uh, Chokey, and um, and this this night of the Hassie end happens, and the next minute, you know, you're you're off on off on tour, and just a bit of a bit of a whirlwind. I mean, um, I think I only bumped into I bumped into Sean once in Ibiza uh, about I oh, must be about fifteen years ago. But he was unconscious, so we didn't have much of a chat. Uh, <laughs> there, there was a there was a big lass looking after him uh, at the time, uh, and uh, I, I, I sort of I went to say hello, and I, I thought, oh dear, I won't bother with that. <laughs> uh, he, he get he, he can get himself into some state, sure. He's 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 a lot better now, though. He's uh, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a changed man from them days. So um. Those days were crazy, and we can spend a lot of time talking about that. But I'm kind of interested in some of the things that um, that span off from that, yeah. Because you, in particular, you know, whether it's Gogglebox or Big Brother or Celebrity Masterchef, you've, you know, you've had a career from the career, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I've been uh, really fortunate. You know, what I mean, it all started with. Uh... Well, I, I did. I first show I did was with the when the Mondays broke up was a show called the Sunday Show. Yeah, and I actually was the first person to work with Peter Kay when he started his television. Oh, really? Day. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so that that's my claim to fame. Me and Peter, and we okay. and we done the opening, uh, you no, know, like the, the opening sequence for the, for the TV show. So me, me and Peter, and he was really excited at the time. Yeah. He was actually buzzing because he's got his first proper job from me because he got spotted on a, 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 a comedy sort of thing in show, you know, right, what yeah. I mean? for the next big comedian. And he's actually buzzing and said, Oh, I've just bought me mama fridge freezer, he said to me, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he was absolutely over the moon with his first wage that he's managed Brilliant. to get his mama fridge freezer. That's real life, isn't it? I've got, I've got to ask, Bess, you, you just said that that was your claim to fame. I mean, there's been many stories written about you, probably some true, some not true. And, you know, some of them, I mean, just one I read about you, you fell off the stage at the Hacienda, took a massive bump on the head. 
The medic said, you've got to go home and put your feet up. You self-medicated, got back on and carried on. I mean, some of those... Yeah, that, you know what? I, that is one of them urban myths, I think they call that. Okay. Right. Okay. I, I'm saying that. I hope it's an urban myth. <laughs> well, <laughs> alleg- allegedly. However, yeah, allegedly, I've got to ask yeah. whether they whether but, they were true or urban myths or whether you can remember them or not. Do they, yeah, yeah. they make you cringe or do you go, oh, yeah, that's all right then? And, uh, well, no, right for that one, it just makes me laugh because uh, it, it's obviously an urban myth, you know what I mean? And uh, there's not, not any truth in it. But I've heard some outrageous stories <laughs> about myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which uh, are, are quite funny. And like I say, if, if they are true, I can't remember them and I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose if, those, if you can remember but, them, I, then you go, I, I, oh I, my God, did I do that? Yeah, no, no, but uh, I suppose you can know uh, what you get is a, a selective memory. Yeah. A bit like me hearing sometimes. I only, I only remember and hear what I want. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to suffer from blackouts, but they t- generally weren't that funny, actually. Best. No, definitely not. Because <laughs> yeah. did... it was interesting, when you said you went to Glassbury f- for that time, when you'd given up everything and you said it wasn't quite what you were expecting, it wasn't, you know, you, but I suppose, A, you could remember it, uh, you know, and the previous ones, could you remember those? So, or were they m- urban myths? Yeah, no, no, like I say, is um, I, I remember most things, you know what I mean? If, if I get my memory jogs, I'm, I'm, like a lot of things, like, oh, blend into one, you know, one experience because you're doing the same thing over and over again. Have but you got... the, 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 the most memorable uh, parts of your life, you always remember, don't you, you know what I mean? Have you got, and, a, have you got a favourite gig, Bez? One that where where you, you... yeah well one of my favourite gigs was uh, the, the Rock de Rio right in, in uh, Brazil and we went out there and our equipment did turn up and we ended up having the full five days there I was put in a hotel with Guns and Roses like you do <laughs> yeah because of our rock and roll reputation uh huh and I can tell you now. They look more rock and roll than we did. But <laughs> we outdone him on the behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got my claim to fame is I ended up on the same floor as Bon Jovi in Ireland one that one night. <laughs> not quite, yeah, the, same, yeah, not quite the same, really, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I mean, I. I've done loads of gigs. Uh, they all they all blur a little bit. I mean, so, some were amazing, some weren't. I just wondered whether it was one of those ones where you went, "This is it." You know, we've you know. Or, or, I mean, did you ever feel like you've arrived? You know, the, you know, the, the Mondays happen, and then you know, this it's when you come from life being really shit. You know, uh, 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 you've probably got a, a fairly substantial level of gratitude for what was going on, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I have now. Uh, back then, it, it's because with the, with this job, it comes no job security or anything like that, you know yeah. what I mean? So you're always feeling like you're living on the edge constantly. Yeah, and I, it can, could, I can relate could to that. could be over at any moment. So if I knew what I know now, back then, I would have been probably handled it all quite differently, you know what I mean? But because, because of that, like I said, there's no job security. You just never know when it's going to end. You know, you could be a two-minute flash in the pan or, you know, like like ourselves, we nearly had a 40-year career out of it now, which is amazing. No, no. I, but, I, uh, yeah. I, I relate to that. I, I, I remember someone saying, that, oh, it must have been amazing. But my first three or four records, I was just really stressed writing the next one, trying to follow it, writing the next one. And I look back and it wasn't fun but at that moment. It was just like trying to trying to keep... Try, it's like plate spinning. Do you know what I mean? You're trying to keep it all going. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, for and for that reason, you know, and it's probably uh, why we 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 went down some of the roads. We went down, you know, we was quite fucking mad because we we never believed it was gonna, you know, keep on going. You know what I mean? And this is yeah, might yeah. be our last moment doing this job. So you 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 end up uh, you know behaving quite disgracefully, I suppose. Disgracefully, you know I mean? that's a In good that way. Talking talk yeah. about. Have you, are you on speaking terms with Eddie Grant these days? Uh, and you know what? I haven't <laughs> spoken to him. Or, or I've never actually met the man, to be true. I, oh, know, okay. his, I know the wife is quite well. But I, I, I remember the first day we got to Barbados and uh, 
Sean, we got sent out there because there's supposedly no drugs out there. And on the way out, <laughs> you know, Sean had this huge bottle of methadone. Right. And he drops it in the airport uh, floor. And that got us off to a, a bit of a bad start. As you can <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. The first night we got to Barbados, it was amazing because we got invited out by all the leading dignitaries of the island, you know, for the uh, chief of police, the law mayor. They, they was all there, all welcoming us to the island and hoping that we know that our album's a great success and all that. To all the crack dealers on the six roads, you know what I mean? <laughs> and Barbados is not really that big of a place. <laughs> and the whole island was talking about us. I think we wrote off every, nearly every car at the hire company had. We ended up driving round in old bangers. Oh, you broke your arm, didn't you? Cars to give us. You broke your arm, didn't you, or something? Yeah, I broke my arm. Oh, it, it was... Uh, no, uh, and I've actually been back to Barbados for an holiday. Did they let you and back? I can't believe how beautiful <laughs> a place it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, look, looking back, it's it's the stuff of legends, isn't it? I mean, it's always talked about. And, and I, I can remember learning about it, that you sold the studio gear for crack. And, uh, you know, and me being a studio guy, and having, I'm thinking, fuck, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> but, yeah, there was more sofa. Yeah, 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 I know. So <laughs> so <laughs> you had to sit on the floor. Right? Running down the road with the sofa. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 I stole Eddie Grant's sofa. <laughs> I love that, basically. 